show you the correct way to build a page totally from scratch, new rules, new content, new everything totally from scratch. It's a brand new page. The only thing that's on this page is the background logo. But that's a different story. So we're going to get started by simply putting content on the page. I'm going to go to a web browser, go to one of my favorite websites for generating text. I'm going to pick five paragraphs of text, and I'm simply going to take this text and put it on the page. Copy, paste, contents on the page. Okay, next, I'm going to build some basic, simple CSS rules, starting with the body tag, paragraph tag, a couple of H tags, etc., etc. So to get started, we're going to select the new tag, and we're going to create a tag for body. Not body paragraph, simply body. So name of this dialog box. Pay attention to dialog boxes. Dialog boxes will help you. So this dialog box is rule definition for body, font family. Now, why do we pick a font family? Because if a person doesn't have this typeface, then they should have this typeface. If a person has that typeface on their browser, it defaults to this typeface. We're going to make this 16 pixels. Incidentally, you want to use pixels, not points. Points is for desktop publishing. So if I hit the apply option, my typeface changes to 16 pixels. So for the body tag, that's all we're going to do. We don't have to set it to black, default to the black. Okay, next we do a series of age tags. Age tags are basically header tags from one to six. I'm gonna separate some of this text here with a paragraph return. So I just have these separate paragraphs. So here's a paragraph, here's a paragraph, here's a paragraph. Now, H tags, which are also known as header tags, from H1 to H6 are per paragraph. So I don't have to select the paragraph. I just have to put my cursor inside the paragraph. The shortcut for this, this is on the bottom of the property palette, but the shortcut for this is simply select the tag, put your cursor inside the paragraph, put your cursor inside the paragraph, and basically go to H1. That's a header tag for that particular paragraph. That could be done in the property palette, but the shortcut is very simple. So if I put my cursor here, I can hit Command 1 for Header 1, Command 2, Header 2, Command 3, Header 3, Command 4, Header 4. On Windows, it's Control 1, Control 2, Control 3, all the way to 6. 6 is the smallest, 1 is the biggest. So this is Header 1. I'm going to make this paragraph Command 2, Header 2. I'm going to make this paragraph Header 3, Command 3 make a change, save a change, we're going to have to get into. Now, I don't have any rules for these tags. So these are my default paragraph tags. So I'm going to select the tag, select the H1 tag, and make a rule. I'm going to make a rule for that paragraph tag. So we're going to go down here to compound and select H1, less specific. H1 inside the body tag. Everything's inside the body tag, but I don't want it to say body header one, body header two. I just want it to say H2. Now, we're not gonna change the font family. We're simply gonna change the size to 22 pixels, make it purple, and uppercase. So this header tag is now purple and uppercase. So I'm going to select this header tag, which is H2, select the tag, make a rule, select the tag, make a rule. So this header tag rule is going to be, less specific, H2. H2 is going to be 18 pixels, it's going to be capitalized, and it's going to be burnt orange. So there's header 2. Header 3, we're just going to leave header 3 the same default color, but header 3 will just be a different size. So we're going to make header 3, H3, less specific, H3 tag is simply going to be 16 pixels. 16 pixels, and just because we can, 
we're going to go to block and set the letter space to be 1.15 1 M spaces. This is going to put space between the lines, space between the letters. So I hit OK, make a change, save a change. You would have to get to make a change, save a change. Now, I have my basic HTML tags over here, body tag, header tag, h1 tag, h2 tag. Now I'm going to insert an image. I'm going to put my cursor right here and right there, insert, insert, image. Now, get way to some images. I'm basically bringing the image of a tree. This is for search engine purposes. I'm just going to put in my tree. And there's a tree. Okay. Now, little trick here. I don't want to have to type in my tree every 10 seconds. So I can just copy the tree, paste it someplace else, say here, and paste another tree down here. Then simply double click, double click, replace it with a tree. Double click, replace it with a tree. So now I have three trees. The advantage of that technique is I didn't have to retype in my tree for search engine purposes. They're all going to be titled my tree in the property palette down here. My tree, my tree, make a change, save a change. Now, there's no formatting on this page per se. We haven't created div tag, we haven't created rules for the images. We're going to do that starting now. So we're going to select the body tag. Body tag is the entire page. Body tag selected. We're going to put the body tag inside a div tag called wrapper. Now everything goes inside the wrapper. Body tag is inside wrapper. So now we're going to create a rule for the wrapper. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag and make a rule. So this is going to be called wrapper. Now, we're not going to pay attention to the width and the height. I'm sorry, we're not going to pay attention to the font and the size. I'm going to basically select box, make this 900 pixels by 650 pixels. Okay. We're going to make further changes to our wrapper tag by selecting the tag inside the CSS palette and hitting the pencil icon. We're going to make some further modifications here. So this wrapper tag is 900 pixels wide by 650 pixels high. We're going to drop it in the top 18 pixels. Now, let's say I didn't know how making 18 pixels is a quarter inch. There's 72 pixels an inch divided by 4 equals 18 pixels. So we're going to align this to the right automatically, to the left automatically. Go to border. Let's put a solid 2 pixel. And I'm going to sample the color that's inside this tree picture down here. So it has a nice blue border. And it's aligned to the center, center of the page. Make a change, save a change. Now until we start doing our formatting, this content is going to fall out of the box. So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to delete some of this content here. Some of these paragraphs. And I'm going to reduce the size of this by holding down the shift key. Before we move forward, I want to share with you a very powerful technique here. The most important tag on here for the CSS rule is the asterisk tag. The asterisk tag, also known as the universal tag, also known as the wildcard tag. We're going to create the asterisk tag to talk to all 92 HTML tags and set their default to zero. If I default from zero, zero makes sense. I can count from zero. But if I don't do that, each tag has its own default, which means the browser has her own default. So I want to avoid that from happening. So I'm going to come down here and totally from scratch, nothing selected. I'm going to simply go to compound and put it in the asterisk tag. The asterisk tag is a universal tag. Shift 8. So, okay, I'm going to set the box parameters to 0, 0. Now, it's important to point out to you, anytime you see a blank box, blank ball box defaults to its parent tag. So don't confuse nothing with 0. 0 is a value. Nothing is empty 
empty boxes default to the parent div. So in this particular case, the asterisk tag is actually the grandfather tag of the entire site. It set everything to zero. Notice that there's no space between my paragraphs now because the asterisk tag set that to zero. I don't want to have zero space between my paragraphs. So I'm simply going to make a paragraph tag. Paragraph tag is already created. I'm going to create a rule for the paragraph tag. Select the tag, make the rule. I'm just going to hit P for paragraph. P for paragraph for the entire site. So we're going to say at the bottom, because English is right from top to bottom, both bottom, we're going to do 1.5 M spaces. This way it's a flexible space. And M is equal to the height of the letter M. So this is going to be an M space. So now I have 1.5 M's between my paragraph. P for paragraph tag goes after the body tag. Make a change, save a change. Now we're going to start building our div tags. So this is a very simple process. So you just move off all your furniture into one room. Your furniture from the client is sitting on one page inside of one div tag. We're going to move those into separate tags in a very simple process. So we're going to select this content. We're going to put this content in a div tag. We're going to call the div tag branding. Then we're going to put the remaining content in a div tag called main content. So from here down, this goes inside of a div tag called main content, which is camel cased. You capitalize the second, third, fourth word. Now, there's no rules for these div tags because we just created them. So we're going to get rid of some of this content. I'm going to get rid of some of this content here and tighten up this just a bit. And that's command 2, header 2. Okay, make a change, save a change. Good habit to get into. Now, in our next video, we'll complete the div tags, defining the rest of the tags, and defining the images.